Rachel. I can't believe this. I thought it was one of those camps. If anyone had told me it's so better to be so soon, I wouldn't believe it. Rachel. We had discussions together the last time we met when we were doing Chief Daddy Part 2. Hey guys, welcome back again to my space. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location. And happy, lovely weekend to every one of you. I hope you guys are doing great. My name is Suzy J, and you're watching Suzy J TV. If you are new in my channel for the first time, you're highly welcome. Please feel free to become part of this family. Smash the red button and also turn the bell notification by the side so that whenever I drop any new video, you'll be among the first to be notified. Yes. The death of our amiable Nollywood actress, a veteran one at that, Rachel Onega. In fact, this is not the kind of news I, I, I want to wake up to see, but what has happened has happened. In fact, the entertainment industry in Nigeria has been facing a lot lately. They are still mourning the death of late sons, sons Sultan, and now um, the um, Nigerians are waking up to yet another sad news of the passing of Rachel Oniga. So this is a um, Nollywood actress, Patience Ozoku. She has come out um, in tears, in sorrow. I'll be dropping that video again so that you guys can see. But before I drop that video, I will, um, for the sake of those that are not Nigerians, my non-Nigerian watchers, I would like to give you a little biography of uh, Rachel Oniga before I drop this Patience Ozoku videos again. Bear with me, guys. A lot of people are waiting to um, hear that this particular news is fake or false, like me as well. But um, the family have actually issued a statement to confirm um, this sad news. Rachel Oniga was born on May 23rd, 1957. In fact, um, if you go to her Instagram page, you see pictures and videos from that her birthday that she celebrated this year. So she died at the age of 60. 64 years. She is 64 at the moment. She was born in Lagos to a Nigerian parents that are from De um, Delta State, from um, a community in Delta State, Nigeria. Until her death, she began acting career in the year 1993, and she has stayed in a lot of successful Nollywood movies, and um, she's loved in the community. She worked briefly in um, a Dutch consultant company before she featured in her first movie titled Onome and her debut Yoruba movie Owo Blue. Over the years, she has featured in numerous Nigerian films such as Sango, a movie scripted by Wale Ogunyemi, produced and directed by Obafemi Lasode, and a Denuga TV series Super Story. For those that are born in the 1980s and 1990, you will definitely know Super Story. Yeah, she has featured in most of the um, TV series Super Story. According to the reports um, that a family member revealed that the veteran Nigerian actress Rachel Oniga, um, she passed on in the early hours of today. The source uh, pleaded an non -meety. It was also learned that the light-skinned um, actress gave up the ghost early Saturday morning at her residence after being in and out of hospital for an undisclosed illness. Her family is said to be devastated by the shock of her death. Okay, I'll show you guys. I'll be reading that statement that has been issued by her family and some condolence message that has been sent by her colleagues in the Nollywood industry. Okay, this is the official statement of the passing of Chief Rachel Tamun, Tabuno Onega. This is her family. With heavy heart and total submission to God, they announced the passing of her beloved sister, mother and grandmother, Chief Rachel. She died in Lagos Hospital at the age of 64 on Friday at about 10 p.m. Contrary to diverse reports informing that she died from COVID-19 complications, we write to inform the general public that she died from a related heart issue, an ailment she battled with for a short period before her demise. This is the family. So to clear up the matter that has been going on, that she died from COVID-19 complication. They said she died from heart issue that she had. So this is the official statement that has been um, issued by the family. Um, thank you, Deaconess Tony Oduoset, sister for the family who announced the date of her burial in due course. So guys, let me drop that. Nollywood actress um, Patience Ozoku's um, 
video so that you guys can see again. Oh, Rachel, I can't believe this. I thought it was one of those camps. If anyone had told me it's for better be so soon, I wouldn't believe it. Rachel. We had discussions together the last time we met when we were doing Chief Daddy Part 2. Wonderful life dress. Bold and beautiful. Oh my goodness, I wish this is not true. I wish this is not true. I can only believe this because I saw it on Atos Gid of Nigeria page. Nobody even told me you were sick. I couldn't even say sorry to you, my friend. Rich. Sorry, my sister. Sorry, oh. The sorry I couldn't say to you when you were sick. I didn't know you were sick. I'm not even in the country. Do oh one name do. My sister from another mother. All the plants we are together, God just like that. It's a pity. The devil has done his worst. No. Oh. So sad. So heart rending. <laughs> Oh, this, is so, so much. this is so so sad may her soul rest in peace other actresses and um actors in the nollywood industry has also been sending in their condolences educacy um ajoke silva olu jacobs name it a lot of them has been sending in their condolences they are much and i can't read all now oh god May her soul rest in peace. Let me read this one from Ejika. Say, we said, Oh, that's where is thy sting? Just got the devastating news. The passage of my friend and colleague, Rachel Oniga, a true thespian, full of love and care, was fail me. Fans, please wish her family she left behind. Good, God's strength and grace to overcome this period of mourning. The entertainment industry just lost one of our finest. May her soul rest in peace. This is coming from Ejika Siebu. So this is it on this video, guys. Please don't forget to leave a comment, like, and also share. Thank you and see you in my next video. May her soul continue to rest in peace. And may we also remember them in our prayers, the families that she left behind. God grant them the fortitude to bear the loss.